I'm really excited to, show, to introduce the Avid Nexus shared storage system. It's the first virtualized file system uh, across the media and entertainment industry. And what we've done is we've, we have a concept of media packs. So we have uh, 10 drives in a media pack. In uh, a 4U engine like this, this is called the Enterprise, is the e, Nexus E4. You can have two media packs. You can have 600 connected users, 330 active, 24 media packs, two and six terabyte drives. So you can have 60 terabyte engines, 400 megabytes a second per engine. So it's, this one's 800 megabytes a second on this one engine. So this, essentially this 4RU, 800 megabytes a second. You combine them together, it, it scales linearly. At, you can add engines and remove engines while you're in production. The engine has four power supplies, so these are fans, power supplies, combos. It can run on any two, so you don't need all four. Very overrated. Um, I designed it that way, so the engine is relatively quiet. The two U's, the two U version, the, um, the E2 and the Nexus Pro, are extremely quiet. So that, because um, I'm thinking that this is a small post facility that might not have a machine room, and if they have a machine room, it might actually be a closet that's not soundproofed or anything, right? So these are, it's, a, it's a really quiet engine. And this is the controller. This controller is truly an Intel computer. This is an entire Intel computer in here. And right now, the very first release will, will ship with one controller, but we're going to add a second controller so you can have re redundancy. It'll give you network redundancy, so it's a 10 gig connection. So you have two 10 gigs. And uh, we're going to do NIC fault uh, tolerance switch, you know, so you can have your uh, fault tolerance here. So you have uh, uh, dual controllers as well as dual networking. The Nexus is going to replace the ISIS platform. So we're going to continue to support the uh, ISIS uh, you know, for five years, absolutely. Uh, I'll, I'll continue to have software releases for the ISIS, but, and, um, but the Nexus client, so that's one of the things that we can do is that we have a client manager that's actually how you mount the workspaces on a computer. So that client manager can mount workspaces on both an ISIS, a, you know, a 55 or 75 or 2500, our current hardware, and as well as a Nexus. And what's nice is you actually get better performance. We've done a bunch in the client itself, so the performance is actually improved by just upgrading the client. And we've been working really, really closely with all these third-party vendors. So you know, obviously Media Composer and Pro Tools work outstanding on it. But we've been working really, really closely with Adobe, with, with Apple, with Grass Valley, with just everybody, Blackmagic, to make sure that their applications run really, really well with this. When I create a workspace, I have the ability now to create different styles of protection. So I have two disk, one disk, or unprotected. So I can, I can make a two disk, I can give specific users, you know, re, I can give these people read and write, give this user read, and then guests will have no access to it. And now I have a new workspace, you know, called Workspace One with two disk protection. I can resize this workspace as many times as I want, never a hit on performance. We have three different protection types for workspaces. So this is how we carve up the, the virtual pool of drives, which we call the storage group. So we have two disk, one disk, and essentially unprotected, which with unprotected you have into all your storage. You can really consider that like a RAID 5. But this isn't really, a, you, wouldn't, you shouldn't consider this a RAID, a RAID 5 or a RAID, um, a RAID 6, because in a, in a traditional RAID 5, when a drive fails, you have to rebuild the entire drive. And that's time consuming, and if it hits a bad sector, I mean, you'll never, you could, there could be a situation where you essentially never can rebuild the, the parity. What we're doing is much more sophisticated. It only rebuilds what's being used, so it's mediaware type of RAID, so it's far superior than a traditional RAID 5 or RAID 6.